Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to uh, the internet. I'd like to be your host today. Well, we play this sweet standard deck on MTG Arena, the Magic the Gathering Arena. It's a trading card game, collectible card game, card game, 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 strategy. Richard Garfield, deck master. And so they label this as Blue Black Control, but I think it's I think it is more of a mid-range deck. Um, cause like you're, like you're basically just playing three drops, you're playing a four drop, you got a bunch of, you got two drops that are attacking, like, I don't know, it seems fine. Like, I, I think, I think this deck seems fun. Um, but the point is, it doesn't feel very controlly. It feel, like, they as in just where I found the deck, like, whatever, they just had it labeled as, as, um, uh, they had it labeled as control, but it is, I think it's, I think it's mid-range, but I, I think either way, that's not the point. The point is, you're basically trying to mill them very loosely with uh, Duress, Overwhelm, Thought Erasure, Herbivores. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Herbivores with the Founder's Badge? Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Wow, dude. That's a... Holy smokes. That's insane, dude. That's a long time, dude. Congrats on your Founder's Badge, my dude. But so, like we're saying, uh, we got Vantress, uh, Vantress Gargoyle, Murderous Rider. Like, we're basically trying to get cards in their graveyard to make our Drown on the Lock better, to make our Into the Story cheaper. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. And, like, all of our cards are all of our cards are good. God, I, I really love... I really love Thief of Sanity. I think it's one of my favorite cards in, in general. Two Lockmere Serpent in the sideboard. I could not be more thrilled about that. Two Enter the God Pharaohs, four Noxious Grasps, two Legion's End. Noxious Grasp seems just insane right now. An instant that gets rid of Oko, gets rid of uh, Bioessence Hydra, which is a big deal in the metagame. Gets rid of all kinds of things. Nissa's Questing Beasts. Uh, dying here. Two Duress, three Disdainful Stroke, and then another Duress here. So we got five. Yeah, this deck seems fun. Um, let's change our card back. I feel like we, I wish we didn't have to do this every single time. But either way. Traditional. Standard ranked with my... Oh yeah, that's not that deck's not correct. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, ugh, I don't like this hand at all. I should have looked and see how many how many lands are in this deck. That's what I should have done. Let me look it up right now. Uranium, twenty three lands in this deck. That seems insane. I think I can keep it just because like we're not gonna be able to opt on turn one. But being able to opt on turn two seems fine. Wow, this game, this deck is so popular right now. God, if I'd love to have a black source on turn one too. Uh, yeah, resolve it. All right, I'll just keep it. <clears throat> Draw. Well, at least they can't questing beast us. 
Uh, you cast once upon a time so early because you want to be able to cast it for free, dude. Fucking sick top deck, bro. Sick top deck. Surely you must be famished. Strike fear into the hearts of the weak. <sighs> the top decks are for real. Um. And then I just play Questing Beast. God, this is just brutal. I think it was actually Oak when I misclicked there, but I don't think... I, I really don't think it matters. Well, you can't wait on it if your plan is turn one Gilded Goose. Like, you can play turn one Gilded Goose, and then you can't play Once Upon a Time for free anymore. So, like, I would much rather play on turn one Once Upon a Time for free, and then play Gilded Goose. Yep, take seven. Into my face put on your true shape. And we're done. That went well. I was thrilled. <clears throat> All right, so. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. That was thrilling. Don't care about Tyrant Scorn. There's only one Tyrant Scorn? No, there's two. I do like duress. Were you myth mystically thrilled? Nah, I don't think so. Just kind of mediocrely thrilled. Noxious grasp is good. <clears throat> Take out one into the story for another noxious grasp, I think. Um, I'm gonna keep this. We're on the play. Grasp? Noxious Grasp? Is that what it's called? My guy over here typing 400 letters. 400 letters a minute? Is that good or bad? Watch, they're just gonna have Oko and the Royal Twins, so we're gonna have to be like, well, I guess I'll take one of them. Okay, just Royal Science. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll keep that. I ain't. Whatever, characters. <laughs> characters are letters, it's the same thing. I kept my head because of the royal scions, but now I don't have anything. I just have a bunch of garbage in my hand. I'm going to keep that up. Okay. Rankle. Master of Prankle. Okay, so they have literally Fabled Passage Veil vale of Summer. That seems great. Hmm. That's just regular water with no sweetener whatsoever. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh, murderous rider, but we have to play around the Veil of Summer? That's obnoxious. So we can Thought Erasure. Doesn't do anything, right? They got one, so they go one, and then they still have three mana left over. We can't drown in the. Is it Drown Lock R? Controller, okay. Okie dokie. Pay to life. Oh, let's just make him discard it. How about that? I guess they just block, right? Look at that creepy ass rankle. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Um... I mean, they can cast this, but then they just... Yeah, we'll get rid of Thought Erasure. So good. With your king, wild and sovereign and free. So good. I invite you to change your ways. I invite you to change your ways. You got 20 fingers or something? I would I would thought erase. Wait, but if we thought erase, as soon as we thought erase, they counter it by playing Veil of Autumn. That's how that works. We played a blue or black spell, so they'll cast it, they'll draw a card, and then they will have hexproof, so thought erasure gets thought erasure gets countered. So that seems terrible. Is this still Do we have to pick? Three cards? <laughs> yes, it has the still the same name and it's still legendary. Josh just sounds so annoyed with me sometimes. God, these Arbor there's Arboreal Grazers are really doing some serious work. Now he's rank elk. Okay, that's pretty solid. Drown on the lock is getting better and better. Um. Oh, why didn't we scry there? We're so bad at this game. So we can actually go kill, kill. And then Thief of Santa becomes a real dude. Can we just do that? Don't have Veil vale of Autumn. Veil of Summer. God, never, just never, never ends. I mean, the literal one turn that I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try to get rid of both these guys so Thief of Sandy can start doing some work is the one turn they draw it. That's insane to me.
Solid top decks. I'll, I'll keep drawing lands. I think that's fine. There is no virtue without bravery. Seems good. I don't see why you wouldn't attack with both. Yeah, this is not complicated. Why would you not attack with both here? You still have two creatures and six life on board? Like, I don't know. It seems weird to me, but... Oh yeah, that's the card we're looking for. Oh yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Well, we don't have any cards in our hand, so... Other than this shitty rankle. Like, why aren't I just playing decks with mono planeswalkers? Like, The draws are fantastic. Veil of Summer into Sarkon, into Royal Scions, into Once Upon a Time, into Questing Beast. Like, I I guess my draw of land into land into Overwhelming Apprentice is just not uh, keeping up. Oh, look, they also got a Wicked. Yeah, okay. I mean, when every single card you draw is just an insane bomb, I, I really have a hard time keeping up. I don't think this deck... I don't know how I feel about this deck, actually. Like, that game was not very good. I just feel like we're playing way too... Standard is so proactive right now that the reactive decks just don't... The problem is every threat will literally murder you. Questing Beast, Wicked Wolf, every Planeswalker. Like, if you, if you miss one single threat, like, you're just, like, so far behind. I agree with you about Drown on the Lock. It is definitely my... That is definitely my impression as well. Drown on the Lock is not worth... Like, you're only playing Overwhelmed Apprentice to enable things like Vantress Gargoyle and, uh, and Drown on the Lock. And I think if you don't have those, the cards in your deck that are, like, four ofs become significantly worse. I agree with that completely. Uh, this is a deck that went 5-0 in the hands of Kelmaster P on Magic Online. Because I don't actually think there's a site that shows 5-0 decks from Arena. Fascinating. This guy can't attack. Are you... What are you targeting? Oh, you're just casting that dude. Wait, what? What? 
What? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I was like... I, yeah, I get it, man. Oops. Let's get down to business. To defeat the bones. I wish this guy said can't block. I guess that's what this thing on the side is. Uh, let's let each player draw a card and lose a life. Oh, I'll take a murder shredder. Can't attack. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Yeah, we could always bounce the murder shroud and be like, hey man, give it another shot. Try again. Try again. Try try again. There are twelve? Jeez. Oh, I thought they were gonna just cast it. Why aren't they just casting these guys? I feel like I'm missing something. What is this? What is this thing at the bottom here? This like flowy thing. Uh, how many cards do they have in the graveyard? Three? That's it? Wow. It's called fashion. Look it up. <laughs> Call of fashion, stupid. God, what an idiot. What does this do? If they have seven or more cards. And they have how many cards in hand? One. Oh, we can do both? Yeah, I'll just draw. Oh, I'll take this Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher is ready! Yeah, alright, we're just good here. I'm just gonna pass. You got it. It's a Rankle, Master of Prankle. I'm probably just gonna bounce this. It just counters their their murderous tyrant, so. Hmm. Murderous rider, not murderous tyrant. It's a murderous tyrant. Oh jeez. Why do they keep attacking with these guys? 
It's aggressive, man. Yeah, all right. What do they got? Eight cards in the graveyard? All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, all right. Sure. Uh, bone crusher, your face. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My turn. Big ranks. Exact seas. Thirty minutes of play time. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? Are you drunk? Legions and legions and oh. Um, not great. They had a bunch of three or less. Not great. They had a bunch of creatures. Not great. They had a bunch of threes. Murderous Rider, Bone Crusher Giant, Love Struck Beast. And for the God Eternals, probably okay. I'm thinking these Rankle. I don't even know what the point of Rankle is. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm like the dog in the chemistry meme. I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, as a black blue deck, we have no answers to a lucky clover. Other than, like, turn one duress. Thirty minutes of playtime. Bone saws ready. I'm gonna keep this just because we can play this guy in turn one. He's not great, and uh, we can possibly thought erasure on turn two. Wow, the fact that that Spider-Man movie is still like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans are still getting quoted in 2019 is. Oh, that's rough. I don't want either of these really. I guess I. I guess I have to keep this, but it lets us do nothing for quite a while. I mean, we get to go turn two, Vantress, turn three, Dismal Backwater, nothing. And then turn four, one Thought Erasure. Or we can go turn two, Dismal Backwater, turn three, Thought Erasure, which seems really slow. It's called Fashion. Look it up. That's fucking hilarious, man. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna. I think there's a. I'm gonna believe that there's a better source of blue in the next two cards. A better source of black, rather. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. It's not even. Falmire Knight. I'm gonna take this other lucky clover. I maybe just take the Falmire Knight. This gets so much. This gets broken though. They do get to draw two cards though next turn. Blah. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, Frickum, your friendly neighborhood subway. I make subs all day here. So how about you awesome do me a solid and throw a sub to my <laughs> I gotta go back to printing. I don't see this dude dipping his cookies in sweet onion sauce. Super Fritz, you are my hero, dude. You are awesome, my man. It's your boy. Oh good, they get to kill both of my creatures. What a what a wonderful top deck that you have top deck off of the top of your deck. Well, that's sad. It's okay. I got another. Oh, I don't. No, 
Well, that's unfortunate. Well, just play your Falmire Knight. There you go. Well, that's unimpressive. Uh, maybe it's not, actually. How many cards you got in here? Three? How do you only have three? Maybe discard one, I guess. I'll put the opt on top and this guy on the bottom. Oh, that's good. Play that guy, draw a card. That's what I'm talking about. Can't attack, can't block. What do you do? Can't attack, can't block. What do you do? This is fine. Get this dude out of here. Now you can attack, right? Okay. Do we still mill? Probably not. Ooh, it's Thiefy Boy. If I. No, actually, I should have kept that guy alive. And then I can. Well, okay, so if I keep this guy alive, then this guy's also alive, so they just sack this and we sack this, and it's just not exciting. Okay, don't don't top deck a murderous rider or a bone crusher gigante. That's all I want. Remember that time I was like, don't draw a Bone Crusher Giant, and then they did. So they go to one now after Rankle. Oh wait, no, we each draw a card. I think that stuff kills them. That seems f sick. Rankle, sack and draw. Why sack and draw? Why not just draw? I killed you with Rankle. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing with this nonsense deck? Nope, that's the control deck that I liked a lot. Let's go to... Do they have Brazen Barber in the three spot? And the two... Oh, it's not in the... That's... Never mind. Don't listen to me. Are you listening to me? Stop it. Okay, so the cards I don't like are this, this, and three of these. Oh, I guess in, and the Drown in the Lock isn't even... Oh, God, this deck is so weird. Like, you have to have the Overwhelming Apprentice, right? I guess I took one out when I moved it. That's annoying. And now they all move. No, they didn't. They're still there. Okay, good. I don't know, man. He's got abilities. Just use them. Okay. Um. Are we even in a position to cut things yet? Like, I don't know. 23 lands is super weird. Like, this is definitely not a control deck. 
This is like a black blue tempo deck where you're just trying to like mill them. I don't think you can splash a uh, a double a double green card, buddy. I don't think you know how splashing works, Philip. Oh, we're playing all monkey junkie. Yep. Uh, sure. Keep six. Ship old ranky boy. The Great Henge. Alright, well, your hand is good. Beast into beast into beast into beast into other beast. What? They didn't just pay two to make a 1-1? One -one? What the hell? That's weird. Take four, but then we're gonna murder this dude. This guy doesn't have reach, right? Okay, good. I was like, please don't have reach. Oh, very an arc bow ranger. Target you're gonna have to charge here. 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 You're gonna Another one. We should have actually waited because it is legendary. That's the that's the lesson at home, kids. Don't forget that questing beast is legendary. So you just hold your stuff until they. Boy, I like the lands in this deck. The lands seem sweet. Can I? I can't. I can cast them, right? You can cast that card? Yeah, we'll just take the Murderous Rider. Julane, Julane, Julane. Questing Beast is still in the river. Where'd they get back with the. Did they not get Questing Beast back? Did I miss it? I'm sorry, guys. What happened? What did they get back? The Edgewall Innkeeper? Is that what they got back? Interesting. my favorite sound effect in the game. I don't know, man. There's nothing like going Lucky Clover into Reaper and making them discard four cards. And we have two more Murderous Riders, which is nice. Thank. <laughs> what 
we have three murderous riders, which is nice. Jesus. Jesus. I do not have a Sultai tattoo, actually. I don't even know what that would be. I feel like we're behind here. Anything we can do about this? I guess we could technically mill them to that. <laughs> oh, Nissa seems insane. Do we have five? Oh. Oh. Two blockers, chump block here, block here, take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to gain two or five. Says attack with all button, man. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And we're at virtual twelve, so we have to block three. The only thing we can reasonably block is this guy, unfortunately. Find finality one time. I guess that doesn't even do it because they have double five drops. But not attacking doesn't do it either, so. Take one, two, three. Block, block, block. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to five. I wonder if they have the the smarts to just turn them all sideways. All right, cool. Okay. So, Noxious Grasp times four. 
like I'm just taking out the apprentices. I'm taking out the drown the lock. Like I, I just don't think these are better than like just being able to kill things straight up. Um, disdainful stroke only seems to counter questing beast. Like I, I didn't see. Was there any other card that it countered other than questing beast? Yeah, and Nissa and Vivian, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I can see that then. They didn't cast those cards, so they weren't uh, as apparent to me. Mike's dead isn't apparent to him either. Wow. Wow. That's brutal, man. True, but brutal. So we just get to go thief into thief? That's cool. Because whole numbers are for chumps. 277. Oh, I'll just discard a swamp here. Hmm. Let's just play old ranks, mechanics. Attack your face. Attack that real. This wasn't part of our contract. I'll take a card I can cast. Do you want to trigger this? Oh, it went to Yeah. So I can play Edgewall Innkeeper and then sacrifice it to Rankle? That seems gas. No, let's not... Let's use the blue. Look at this value. Uh, each player sacrifices. And we each play draw cards. Uh, let's get Love Struck Beast here. Oh my god, did you see the hands come out? I've never seen that before. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, add a blue. And create a Humon. Oh man, Love Struck Beast and Rankle are great together. You make the 1-1 one -one and then you sacrifice it. Mandicking four disdainful stroke? That seems insane. Um okay, but but also can we not do that? Do this. Uh, Vivian seems very good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Mm -hmm. I guess we'll just play Thief. Why would you use both my black for that? Oh, because these are utility lands. Burp, 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 burp. This is lethal in the air. I guess that's true. I guess if you're looking at the cards specifically in um, in the, the Golo stick, that makes total sense. Because, I mean, I'm thinking like... Man, like Oko, Guild, I guess a questing beast too. That guy's a beast. That guy's a questing beast. Oh, that's funny, because even if you play Spawn of Mayhem at the, uh, the Spectacle cost, it's still Converted Mana cost 4. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. I did think, I also thought it would be higher, to be quite honest with you. Not the six, I don't like it. But yeah, 43 42 percent is just not a reasonable amount. Here comes a lucky clover. Uh the percentage of bioessence hydra in the metagame is not enough. It's not high enough. That's my That's my assessment. Um they're not gonna have four next turn, so we don't have to keep disdainful stroke. I still want to play this just in case we do want a tyrant's score and something, or we could just double opt. Which is also okay. Uh, I would like to think they're banning field. I honestly, it's going to sound super weird, but I don't like Oko either. I think it's just a very, very strong Planeswalker that if you don't have an answer for, can literally run away with the game. But maybe that's me being preemptive. Like, when you have Noxious... Uh, what's the card called? Noxious... Whatever the Noxious card is. Like, if you have to almost main deck that in this format, it's kind of weird. Noxious Grasp, yeah. Like, uh, let's go. This guy. I'm gonna bottom that one. And then this guy. Don't care about you either. Sorry. Sorry, my dude. Oh, I definitely didn't want another into the story. I love these bird noises, I'll be honest with you. I guess that's just a one for one. Do we pay two life? Um, no, we don't have to. Because if they play the beast... I mean, it's going to be sad if they play Questing Beast this turn. If they go land Questing Beast. Oh, I guess we have Disdainful Stroke, so that's fine. I'm like, I'm playing, I'm like thinking like Love Struck Beast. We can Tyrant Scorn. Foulmire Knight... Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's fine. All of this is fine. Crawl Harpooner. Luis said banning field makes Oko unstoppable and you should probably also be banned. Yeah, I mean... 
I, I, I think both of them are very, like, because once field is banned, like, all the mid-range decks are just going to be so powerful. Deer to dinosaurs. Jesus, this friggin' Vivian to Falmire Knight kill is just really delicious. Get Especially because if we hit another land drop, we could time the point and rent that and then just have an active, Thank you. an active gentleman on the board. Icarus, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um... Also, if we're trying to mill our opponent out, like, why don't we have... Oh, there's a rankle. Why don't we have more Enter the God Eternals in the main deck? <laughs> I'd get out of the way if I were you. Would you really? One, two, three, one, two. So we can actually go Tyrant Scorn this guy, Murderous Rider this guy, attack Vivian. I went the other way. I definitely don't want to attack here because then they just block with this guy, and that seems bad. God, Veil of Summer is so good. It's like unreal good. Guy's so sad. I feel like this deck definitely needs like ritual of the sideboard. I mean, it, it contradicts your main plan though, which is the problem. It kills all your creatures. Survive. Huh. Seven, maybe? Eight? Oh, I like that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so we're gonna. What are the odds we could land here? High. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, if they're only getting back love strike beast, I'm okay with that. Bill of Summer is $6 in paper. That seems insane. Listen to that. Listen to that fibble to I ASMR. Amazing. Yeah, they just attack with the 5-5, five, five, right? And the 1-1, one, one maybe? No! God, no. Get out of here! There's 
take six here. I think that's okay. I mean, these into the stories costing four is pretty good. Okay, okay. Alright, so now we can go... Gargoyle, which does block. Keep up. Other thing. I would like to duress, but I also want to keep up disdainful stroke. But the thing is, like, I don't think there's that many things we can disdainful stroke. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Crawl Harpooner's going to bust this guy up, though, and we actually couldn't counter it anyway, so. No attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's pretty good. I'm glad we got time right now on the other hand, but still. I just feel like we're too far behind, unfortunately. I think we're almost dead. Oh, we got Mike B in the chat. Mike B sleeping. Solid top deck. I don't know why it took you that long to win the game. Sometimes deciding to win the game is really hard. I guess I'll just win the game. I'm going to do three other things before I win the game, but I'll win the game eventually. Oh, let's get my gems because I think I have all the rares here. Oh yeah, nicely. Nice, nice gems. Let's get these gems. Oh, it was a, a, cry, a Kai car. And then we got what's this here? Oh, a castle locked, Wayne. A subtle got him, but a fair one. Yeah, that was uh, I, I yeah, I think I, if nothing else, I'm fair with the gotems. I think we take one of these out. <laughs> I know that's on me, but you know. Oh. I feel like this deck really just wants one more land. I feel like we're getting so uh, shorted on mana. Mana. I'm just playing one more land here. I also don't think this deck is that great. I bet he's drinking a pumpkin spice latte. Look at that. We already we already got good lands. Well, that guy's problematic. I also think it's the Butcher, but I don't think that's great. We can't even play you next turn, because we're going to play either one of these. Oh, Pumpkin Spice with Caramel? That's disgusting. You're disgusting. You're a disgusting savage.
Well. That guy ain't getting through. Jesus, God. Pumpkin caramel with a banana? That's that's ridiculous, man. Yeah, this deck does nothing against this deck. I don't think this deck is very good. I apologize. I apologize if you guys watch this far. Three rankles in hand. I don't like. I don't even think rankles is that good. You guys are saying it's good in the chat. I'm like, if there was like a go wide strategy where you can just be like rank. I think maybe rankles probably good in a black white deck where you can make like a bunch of tokens and like sack a creature. I'll sack a token. You sack an actual legitimate creature. It needs a board wipe, but it's hard to play one when you're playing like Vantress Gargoyle and the other dude. Sack a creature. We're gonna each discard a card, maybe. No, I don't care about that. Yeah, black board wipes definitely something to be desired here. Okay, so we just take six. Yeah, all right, we're dead. Literally, both these dudes are dealing us a point. That's something right there. Okay, so Noxious Grasp, not great against them. Legion's End, pretty good against them. View Battlefield. That's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty sweet. So you can like take a look at what all the things that happened. Get out of here, Rankle. I just really don't like over. I just don't like this card at all. I don't think it's good. It does counter their spawn. Sultai self mill suit cards like Cavalier of Thorns and Spore Shaman and Tamio and Mulder Hulk and Villas and Agent of Treachery and the Cauldron. And you just named a bunch of things. Wow, this hand is absolute trash. Not that much better. Zero cards, huh? Okay. See you later. It's just like this. There's so many times I'm like, oh, drown in the lock. Wow. I can't do anything with that. is terrible. I like that Legions and Exiled at Murderous, uh, Murderous Rider actually goes to the bottom, so like, you just 
Drown on the lock just still stays at one. I can counter a one drop. I guess we'll just see what your last card is. Huh. <laughs> cute. Super cute. I guess I'll keep that. I mean, I want to cast these things eventually. Now I can counter a two drop. Neither a, a two drop or a three drop. I don't know why they didn't cast it. Maybe because they want to play it like, wow, you're, this is that's fantastic. Congratulations. So proud. So proud. Ugh. Good draws are good. I get to draw like an extra card with the castle lock plane here. I we'll just get to do that. Probably get to do both. Everybody, everything's working out for this guy. Good for them. Can't even kill this, unfortunately. I guess we can kill this fat idiot. Into the story costs four. No blocks. Pump that guy. How dare you? This guy's terrifying now, so no attacks. This guy, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12. That's pretty good. Guys, harder to deal with. Thought erasure. That's cool. That's that's real cool. I guess we'll get the. Uh... Nope, that doesn't do it. Wow, Knight of the Evan Legion. When you have four, five, six, seven, nine, ten mana. Real hard to deal with. Let's stop on my upkeep so that we can actually scry. I think this deck... I think this deck is about out of its... Uh, it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. All right. What are you gonna do? Well, 
One time, not a land, huh? Oh, there's a land. All right. And the point of that. There's a lot of cards in the deck that I'm never happy to see. Uh, the one drop. So here's the thing about this deck. I'm never happy to see this card. Even on turn one, because you have one, two, you have uh, four. You're the, you have seven blue sources that come into play untapped on turn one. Seven ways to cast this on turn one, and that's not a lot at all. I guess 11 because you can play Watery Grave, so 11 sources. This deck just doesn't seem good. Like, I never want to play either of these two cards. And if I don't want to play these cards, this card's terrible. Like, there are so many times where this was just doing nothing until I hit one of these cards. Rankle is rough because you never want to sacrifice your own creature, but, like, some of the wins would just came from the fact that it was a 3-3 flyer with haste. Uh, Thief of Sanity is one of my favorite creatures, but it's kind of fragile in here. I mean, these these are all good. The Thought Erasures and the Tyrant Scorn. The one Duress seems a little random in the main deck. Like, we could definitely make that something else, something more proactive that's actually going to help us win games. And I think three into the story with 23 lands is a little ambitious when these are the only two cards that really mill things. Like, the fact is, like, one of the biggest uh, ways we had to turn on Drown or turn on into the story was literally the Enter the God Eternals, which was in the sideboard. So, I don't know. This deck seems a little rough. I'm not thrilled with it, but uh, it is what it is. I am a much bigger fan of this blue-black control deck that we played the other day. Nope, this is... This is it. Yeah, this is the deck we built. Wow, I was like, this is not it. Yeah, this is it. Precognitive Perception instead of Into the Story. Always going to cost five instead of four. You draw one less card, big deal. One Lockmere Serpent, two Lilianas, Kazmina, Kefnet... Brazen Borrow, Murderous, Mu Yanling, Narset, and Sinister Sabotage, then a bunch of two drops. We do have two drown on the lock. It's not an early play, it's definitely a late play, but in the late game, it's basically a two mana counter spell. So. But, um, yeah, I mean. You know, I think, you know, as far as the, the two blue black decks go, this one's definitely uh, the one I was having better luck with. Lockmere Serpent was great. And uh, this one has a lot of cards that don't really do anything on their own. So, I don't know. Not exciting. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe button. Check me on Twitch.com. Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. Patreon.com. I said that already. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time.